Um, I work for Brightcove. Uh, for those who don't know what Brightcove is, we are an online video platform, uh, a B2B platform really, kind of like YouTube, except we, uh, we work with major media providers. Um, I work in the channel directorship of that, uh, so any of you guys who work with agencies uh, who want to uh, have a chat with us, we're building a, a robust partner program, so please uh, find me at the break. I'll be more than happy to, uh, to take your details. Um, my, uh, it's quite interesting how these guys uh, teed me up nicely about this, but uh, video uh, for Brightcove has been a really good thing and it's going to be a really big thing for Facebook going forward as well and other social medias. Uh, this was some stuff I just pulled off a of comm score uh, about last year and we've seen a couple of things uh, in the UK where there's been a massive growth and uptake in just in video online in general. Um, What's actually quite interesting, there's a second slide where it basically says that the uh, the, the viewer, uh, videos per view has grown 18% year on year and actually the time spent per video is up 46% year on year uh, up to about 8 hours a month. Now what this means to Facebook and other um, destinations is that this is engagement and as we've heard, engagement is a very, very big powerful thing right now and users want to be engaged and uh, you need that type of stickiness. So um, video is becoming a very, very very robust way of keeping your users engaged and uh, and causing them to come back for for more really so that's one of the reasons why we think Facebook and video is, is really powerful and actually Brightcove has a very special relationship with uh, with Facebook which I think is on another slide coming up but basically you should include video on Facebook in your applications in your destinations um, because it's a way for them to be engaged and as we see we saw earlier uh, some of the uh, the sharing tools are being shut down so you need new ways of causing users to push stuff through um, the other thing about putting video on Facebook is, is you know it's a self-contained hub and I'll show an example of Virgin Media's latest brand called Live, which is an online brand. I'm not sure if anyone's heard about it yet. It's, it's just relatively launched. But they're actually using a Facebook app as a destination portal. It's actually a very nomadic type of uh, uh, brand out on the online, but they actually need some place to drive users back to. So Facebook is turning out to be one of those great places for them to do it. And the reason is, is the demographic of Facebook is across a, a much wider spectrum than you see from a MySpace or a, or a Twitter or any of that sort of thing. And also, Twitter is great. Um, I actually don't have a Twitter, so I'll, I'll apologize in advance about that. But uh, what it doesn't allow you to do is in control a massive experience, a destination, a way of, of getting stickiness of the user. And so it's a Facebook is actually one of the best places that we've seen as a destination portal for for video applications. So for those who don't know Brightcove, um, we are, as I said, an online video platform, a software as a service, uh, brightcove.com. Um, we have come out of the US. Anyone who's been a cold fusion uh, user, Jeremy Allaire, uh, Macromedia, um, he's the guy who runs Brightcove now. So he, it was his brainchild to, to build this up. And effectively, what we're seeing now is a wonderful platform uh, on which you can build any number of things. We've actually taken the video and turned it into an experience. So any of you application developers, if, I'm sorry, if that's slightly too small for you, but uh, on the right hand side, that's the live portal within the Facebook, that's the application they've built. We actually now have a framework around our player that allows you to build any custom components that you want that can connect into it. And I'll show you an example in a second that shows you the FB Connect API wrapped into a player that drives users back. Um, this framework is going to grow over time. It's, it's, it's what we do best. And so, again, we really want to, uh, to encourage and engage with you guys who are, or who are writing these applications as a tool provider to see if there's something that we can help you out with. The other really important thing that we, we feel is a massive win is we're whitelisted by Facebook to have our video player show up in the news feed. Um, every other example I've seen to date shows a link to take a user away from that profile. Our video player will actually load straight in that news feed. That is a, that's a real win for us. So if you combine the extensive API that we have and the fact that that player will load in the news feed, you can have a video playback with any number of custom components that goes along with it. So the share doesn't actually come, you don't have to share it anymore and you actually have user destination and a microcosm all in the same news feed. There's sort of two things that uh, we, we see as, as methodologies. It's the push or pull question. So do you push your content out there? Is it virally pushed uh, around, the, around Facebook and the profile? So you want this video from a seed player, typically outside of these social networks, to go in. And as mentioned, now with the, with the, with the, the, the runtime that we have with our player, you can bring your own application functionality around with that. Um, 
There are some downfalls to it, as you see, the, the experience is packaged, but it is limited. You can't, you know, you have a very small area of, of uh, user engagement to play with uh, in terms of, of real estate, but it's really good for self-branded content. And if you are working with clients that have video or want to bring a, a message to the user, self-branded content seems to be the next generation, the next big thing coming in, the message in a bottle type of approach. But there's also the pull as well, if you want to, uh, to bring people into the application side of things, and we'll see this in, in just a second. But again, you have a completely branded zone where video can be the core reason somebody comes there, but then you can throw up any amount of functionality you want from polls to advertising to monetization to whatever. And we're seeing really good take on that type of, uh, type of approach. Um, Again, I'm, I'm biased, but uh, video is tending to be the, one of the main uh, draw, uh, drivers of, uh, of engagement at the moment because it is completely focused. I would ask uh, people to put up their hands who have watched a YouTube video, but I'm pretty sure everyone w will put their hand up so it's slightly redundant. But the idea is that this is the new way of, of engaging users at an information entertainment uh, side of things. So, so it is something to think about if, as you go forward building your apps. So in the push side of things, as I mentioned, we have a special relationship with, uh, with Facebook. So you can definitely go out today if you have a Brightcove user or you can create your own Brightcove test account uh, for free, um, which effectively allows you to take that player and stick that in an, any news feed. And then within that news feed, we can also have controls that allow users to share that further on and further on and also use the, uh, the, the sharing function of, of Facebook itself. <coughs> There are some terms and conditions that apply to this. Uh, we found out that there is no advertising allowed, um, which is fair enough. But it, again, for branded content or for viral messaging, this is a really, really powerful tool. Uh, if you go to the blog in a second, um, you can connect, use the connect and, and actually send that through yourself. On the poll side of things, this is the Live app, uh, app that we have in place, and you can see that the video player itself is much larger, so it's much more visual, uh, visually engaging, but there's also uh, room for different channels and also room for, uh, for uh, user engagements around polls and uh, the ability to bookmark that application. So now this is some place a user can come back and they're seeing this around the, uh, the 16 to 33 women's age group. This is what it's targeted to. This is now live. Users are taking this, bookmarking it, and Facebook is now the destination. They're not going to living.co.uk. They're going straight to Facebook while they're doing their other uh, social media bits and pieces. They're able to catch up on the latest celebrity gossip. Nothing stopping this also from becoming a destination channel for long form content or anything. It, all the tools are there. It's just now the brains that need to, uh, need to catch up a little bit. So I'm, I'm running uh, slightly quickly here, but I'm going to quickly jump into uh, an example. Now, I apologize that my original understanding here was that, uh, yeah, thanks. I'll just mute this, shall I? Yeah. Um, the original reason of uh, all this was I thought this should be interesting. Okay. I was going to be talking to a lot more coders, so I'm not going to get too much into technical code here. But basically, if we look down here, this is my blog. Here's my video, and I guess you guys pretty much know what those components are. So there's a sharing piece, uh, a live stream box down here. Um, that's signed in as you. I, uh, <laughs> I love Bright Cove. Oops, spell it right. So if I post that, that should uh, pop up. Great, everyone, uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Josh. Um, and then basically, if I press play on this button here, this should, uh, by the wonders of the internet, here we go, there I am, uh, live streaming on the back camera.